Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Dice the Old Republic 2. Okay, so... Let's get some combat to do here. Have at thee! I've been on a huge Star Wars kick lately, and I have finally managed to finish uh, the Mandalorian. I got things to do with that one. Better uh, watch it. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Like, way more than I have a lot of things lately. I, mean, I could try to do a flurry, but it's like Christmas strike ain't gonna do much better, so. Regular attacks to do the thing. There's loot. Basic violet power cell. Ooh, that sounds like a thing that could go in my sword. Components, drill steam, data log. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so my cache in the lower bunk in my room in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't even know it's there unless you know where to look. Gordon came around again asking if I had a special cargo to sell, but I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking, so I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smoked from Telos and a few grenades there just in case things get rough benefit to have. having a room at the farthest from the door is that it should buy me enough time to dump the contraband of security as a surprise inspection. My room in the eastern dormitory. East dormitory. Farthest room, huh? I can use another pistol. I'll dual wield them suckers now. I got that dual wielding down pretty good. So far this room from the door. So that would be this damaged door, but I don't think I can get in there. So unless you know where to look. I can't get inside this thing. Any demolition skill sucks. All right, well, if we find it, we'll go get it. Yeah, I'm gonna play a good bit of this game today. I've got all my stuff cleaned up. So, at the time of this recording, I have just, just finished recording uh, Just Cause 2. Edition feet, D and D feet, uh, and it allows you to instantly attack another uh, enemy right off the bat. Okay, my key. Shield. 
Sweet. Amplifying chamber bar for one. The chamber. What did I pick up? I have no idea what that was. Get around to fixing the ventilation systems. And with the food processor back up again, then the next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep the breath mask here just in case we have a report. So that should be. Um. Into poison. No, I kind of want the will plus two. Chems. More chems. More chems. Alright, so I think we got something that we can uh Well, if I had some demolition skill, I could probably make a bind, but oh well! It would have been nice to have the dual pistol, but eh, don't have to have it. Just find all the chemicals laying around. Laser pistol, minor log. Another mining laser. Okay, so I can dual wield my pistols now. Feet. Third. Okay. Uh, let's go here. One to eight. One to twelve. Well, I get a bonus for dual wielding. Uh, Yeah, buddy, that's what we're using now. Blasters. Is this... No, those are terrible. Let's go back and play quarters a little and see what it says. This is definitely a game that it's just ridiculous in scale. I mean, this is the first area, and we're like, what, six videos in of this mess? Games <laughs> for it. Log encrypted. Oh, that's right, I already. Well, 
was encrypted, but whatever. Yeah, I, I got the potential to do 16 damage per shot, or per attack now. 2 to 16? That's pretty good. It's way better than a sword. And I can do it from distance. The thing is, I will use the sword if it comes down to me uh, to fight like a little shielded robots. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you Merklack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes. A regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they, they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity, and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon deceased. Oh, that was definitely HK. <laughs> Access port for a computer spike. It looks like you don't have to enter the code name. Destroy the console to try the force to force So he said it's backwards. I got this rope down right here. I don't know what the first two digits are. So it goes up 14, down 4. I don't know what the first two codes are. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, hey, whatever works, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a boring, boring puzzle anyways. Look, we got company! Hey, lady. I should get over here. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. The one that fired upon the Ebert Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. But he will not let us go without blood being shed. So what? If you will bleed a little, it's more entertainment for me. Okay, who is this enemy? The story is Where's my mouse version? Time is short. Come. We must go and quickly. Okay. All right, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that is docked here. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. I hear you. Level up. So she's a Jedi counselor, which means she is a mage, right? Yes. So we need more. Yeah, we need more wisdom. Oh, wisdom. So what's the record? Yep. Yeah, okay. 
skills. Awareness, stealth, tree injury. Let's uh, buff that. Actually, screw awareness. Let's put it up. Repair. Allows a character to fix the disable mechanical devices like droid mode. Parts required by one. Yeah. Put that in there. Powers, eh? Um. Okay, so she is pure neutral right now. She's got force push. She does have fear, which is kind of unnerving. Am I? Oh, we gonna be up with two. All right. We are leaving, bro. The frig! Stealth camouflage snake, watch out! Space is going on. Who's this? Another Jedi? What did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? And there's no time to explain. Crab weapon to follow me. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Yeah. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. <sighs> After all the deaths you'd cause, rescue is hardly the term I would use. Correction. I am not here to argue semantics, Master, so I will simply inform you that you are wrong, as were those recently corrected miners. Let's see. I'll fight you, but I will have no choice. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Okay, you, sir. 
Okay, so you got one pistol. What are your skills? Somebody's skills. Oh, okay, it's feet. So that's what I see. Let's see. So you're proficient with blaster pistols. He is a scoundrel, so he gets sneak attack buffs, which is awesome. I love scoundrels. God, I wish I could play as one again, but sadly, that's not the courage. Right, Go ahead and equip the axes. It's going to be better. And then we'll level it up. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure, need dexterity. Yep. Demo man. Oh no, security. I don't security. Oh. Ah, uh, here's. That's fine. It's, it's recommended. Dueling. Nah. Crap. I was not dueling. Dual wield. This one worse. Okay, whatever. Oh, what is it? Put that. Okay, so how do we get out of here? Fuel Depot. Rocking board. When we were running this way, he stopped us, so. I've always wanted to be a blaster wielding Jedi. I think that that would be something fun. Whether or not we're actually going to do that, I don't know. Or for the Harbinger. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. 
<laughs> Maybe you'd like to get back in your cell, your highness. <laughs> Calm down, you don't plan on accusations. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Why don't we steal this ship? Oh, you mean with the huge crew we brought along with us? That's a brilliant idea. How did the Harbinger get the orbital drift charts if we need to dock? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their nav computer. They'd have to. So let's get their codes then. Then we can worry about reaching the other hall. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Don't you have a party? Certain edges dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with companions depending on their personalities. Some respect cruelty, while others may respect ability, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. The higher your influence with a companion, the more your alignment affects theirs. Extreme high or low influence with a companion can open up additional dialogue choices. It benefits to both, so treat them as you please. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Watch that town, old woman! I'll be lectured by you! <laughs> The plan was a good one. Let's head to the bridge and get the truth charts. All right. But this won't end well. Trust me. Okay. As long as you got me and my double blast, this would be good. Here's the bridge. Huzzah. There's a computer. Uh. Charge for the Pegasus, or for the Paragus, come on, Pegasus, Paragus, actually. Check the logs. We have taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berths, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the Harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. We'll find out. Everyone on the Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? I haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Now keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! <laughs> Duh, duh, duh. Well, I got no loot. Oh, it's a beer spike. Parts. Oh, 
Say the word. Secure. I have to leave the party for now. I don't have to bash things open. I can just see the unlock stuff. Which means I wish I kind of would have left a lot of that stuff locked down. Ooh, a heavy blaster, son. Ten. These resemble regular blasters in the same way Cory and Mash Marsh Suckers resemble mosquitoes. Sure, they both do damage, but the former definitely has the edge of kill potential. Let's see. Three more damage. Or yet, baby. Yeah, that big sucker. A proper blaster pistol now. Time to take you down the side. Time to take you down. Time to take you down the side. Yep, baby. Novice robe. Let's see. Now. come back, we're going to try to get our way over to the Ebon Hawk. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.